Good day, learners. Welcome to our day one. Measuring and comparing length distances in centimeters. Which do you think is longer? We can use a ruler to measure in centimeters so we can be exact. What is a centimeter? A centimeter is a unit of length we use to measure how long or short something is. It is written as cm. On a ruler, you can see many small lines. The space between two small numbers, like 0 to 1, is 1 centimeter. This is the centimeter side of the ruler. One centimeter is the distance between two small marks on the ruler. Let's measure and compare. The pencil, which is 12 cm, is longer than the crayon, which is 9 cm in length. Rule. If the number is bigger, the object is longer. If the number is smaller, the object is shorter. Let's try this. Write the correct symbol to compare the lengths. 12 centimeters, blank, 8 centimeters. 15 centimeters, blank, 20 centimeters. 10 centimeters, Blank, 10 centimeters. 25 centimeters. Blank, 18 centimeters. 7 centimeters. Blank, 14 centimeters. Let's try this. Read each item carefully. Compare the length given in centimeters. Write the object that is longer or shorter in the blank. The pencil is 15 centimeters and the eraser is 10 centimeters, which is longer. The ruler is 30 centimeters. And the notebook is 25 centimeters, which is shorter. The straw is 18 centimeters, and the spoon is 12 centimeters, which is longer. The toy car is 20 centimeters. And the block is 22 centimeters, which is shorter. The ribbon is 40 centimeters, and the yarn is 35 centimeters, which is longer. Let's try this. Measure me. Pupils will measure their eraser, notebook, and sharpener using a ruler. Record answers in centimeters. Always remember, we use a ruler to measure the length of objects in centimeters. We compare length by looking at the number of centimeters. B. 
Bigger numbers mean longer. Smaller numbers mean shorter. Welcome to our day two. Estimating and measuring length in meters, comparing length in meters. How tall do you think the classroom door is? This is a meter stick, and this is one meter long. One meter is about the length from the floor to a grade two pupil's waist. What is a meter? A meter is a unit of length we use to measure how long or tall something is. It is longer than a centimeter. 100 centimeters is equals to 1 meter. We use meters for bigger objects or distances like doors, blackboards, tables, and the height of people. Examples, a classroom door is about 2 meters tall. A broom might be 1 meter long. A rope for jumping could be 3 meters long. Let's try this. Estimate the length first, then measure to check. Write the answer in meters. Always remember, a meter is used to measure along objects or distances. We can first estimate and then measure to know the exact length. Which do you think is longer? The mop, which is 1.5 meters, is longer than the broom. Rule. If the number is bigger, the object is longer. If the number is smaller, the object is shorter. Let's try this. Write longer, shorter, or equal. The table is 2 meters. The chair is 1 meter. The table is blank than the chair. The rope is 3 meters. The ribbon is 2 meters. The rope is blank than the ribbon. The broom is 1.5 meters. The mop is 1.5 meters. They are blank in length. The blackboard is 4 meters. The window is 3 meters. The blackboard is blank than the window. The tree is 5 meters. The flagpole is 6 meters. The tree is blank than the flagpole. Always remember, a meter is used to measure long objects or distances. We can first estimate and then measure to know the exact length. Welcome to our day four. Determining the appropriate unit of measure and measuring length and distances. We will use centimeters or meters to measure this. Centimeters use for short or small objects like pencil, 
book and eraser. While meters used for long or tall objects like door, rope, blackboard, and a height of a person. Let's try this. Write CM if the object should be measured in centimeters and M if in meters. Let's try this. Work in pairs. Use a ruler for small objects and a meter stick for big objects. Record your answers. Always remember, we use centimeters for small or short objects. We use meters for long or tall objects. Choosing the right unit makes measurement easy and accurate. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.